Hello everyone! Today in this short guide I will be showing you how you can run neural network models on your Raspberry Pi Zero or other ARM devices using PyTorch. We will briefly cover what tools are available for running neural networks on small uh, Internet of Things devices. Uh, I'll go briefly over how you can set up your Raspberry Pi Zero W in headless mode if you don't have a keyboard, mouse or screen. We will go how you can install PyTorch and Torch Vision packages both from both by building them from source and also by installing them from binary packages and finally we will run some inference tests so you can verify that your uh, neural network model is behaving correctly on these small devices. First of all, let's go over some useful links. I have set up a GitHub repository and I plan uh, to maintain it which has uh, ARM builds for uh, PyTorch and uh, you can use these on uh, all Raspberry Pi devices on Android phones and basically on any ARM device running uh, any variant of uh, Linux. Uh, if you're interested about the build process you can find so in uh, my blog post that I wrote about how I compiled uh, PyTorch for the Raspberry Pi and you can also use this process that is described here to build any ARM packages on your uh, computer rather on your Raspberry Pi because it's uh, pretty slow. Uh, as far as setting up your Raspberry Pi Zero in headless mode, there is an excellent guide which I will link in the description below where you can just set up some files and uh, set up Raspbian uh, headlessly so it connects uh, on your wireless network as soon as it uh, boots and uh, this guide uh, goes into great detail how you can do this uh, it's not that difficult, you just have to modify some files from the default Raspbian uh, image about some alternatives to uh, running PyTorch on your Raspberry Pi device uh, there are several, uh, several alternatives uh, first of which is uh, Microsoft's uh, ONNX runtime so ONNX is an open neural networks exchange format where you can uh, use any popular neural, net neural network framework to package your uh, neural network into an ONNX uh, model and then run it on your on your device. ONNX runtime is made uh, just to uh, be used for inference so not for training of neural networks just for you know running some data through a neural network and seeing what the output is. Uh, you can also check uh, how to get started with this. Uh, theoretically, it should work both for PyTorch and other frameworks. Uh, sadly, I don't think uh, it's supported for, for all ARM devices, so you may want to consider some alternatives. So one alternative is uh, obviously using TensorFlow Lite, which is made for uh, uh, ARM devices like Raspberry Pis or Android phones. Uh, however, it's difficult uh, because there are some uh, differences in uh, implementation details to port your uh, PyTorch models to TensorFlow Lite models. That's why that's the whole reason why I started with uh, playing with PyTorch on ARM devices because I wanted to use PyTorch. Another interesting alternative is called Tract uh, by a company called I think it's Snips, and uh, it's also an uh, ONNX uh, inference uh, runtime. And if you check their uh, quick start guide, you'll see that it runs on Raspberry Pi Zero. There are some uh, tests which show that it is uh, quicker than TensorFlow Lite. Uh, however, this tool is written in Rust and uh, I wanted a pure Python solution. And that's why, uh, uh, that's why I made the PyTorch ARM builds GitHub repository. So all, the, all these links will be uh, in, the description, in the description below. Okay, so let's start. In the repository here, you will find that there are uh, several uh, different packages. So you see we have Torch packages and we have Torch Vision packages. And you can see that we have them for uh, different architectures. So if you're using a Raspberry Pi Zero or Raspberry Pi uh, 1 uh, models, you will uh, want to use this one, which is the ARM, w, uh, ARM uh, V6 one. If you're using Raspberry Pi 2, uh, you want to use the ARM V7 one and if you're using Raspberry Pi 3, 4 or any other uh, ARM64 device you want to use this one which says ARCH64. We also have uh, the same uh, packages but for Torch Vision here. Uh, 
Again, if you want to build your uh, PyTorch from source, you can find uh, the process described on my blog post, which is also linked here. Okay, so after you set up your Raspberry Pi Zero, you'll want to connect to it via SSH to install everything that you need. So because we are running Raspbian, we'll need some uh, to install some packages, but there is a useful shortcut here on the on the github repository where you can just copy this command and install all these packages on your raspberry pi zero so let's connect to it i found the ip address on my router so it's this one the username is uh, pi and the pa default password is raspberry okay so we connected and let's just paste this command I already have some packages installed, but it's going to install most of them. And this will take some time, so I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so the installation is now complete. We have all the dependencies, so we just now need to download uh, the packages. Now you could install git and just clone this repository, or you can just uh, download the zip file or just copy the link and download it directly on the device again this will take some time so I'll get back to you when it's done okay so after the file downloads you can just extract it using the unzip command and you see now that we have all the files uh, that we need to install torch and torch vision so let's, the last step is just to check what Python version are we using. So let's just do Python 3 minus minus version. Okay, we are using Python 3.7.3. .3. Note the Python 3, if you just type Python, it will use Python 2, which we don't want to use. And we also want to check the pip version. So let's just run pip 3 minus minus version. And wait a little bit and it should say that we have a pip installed for uh, Python version 3.7. Uh, if by any chance you don't have uh, pip installed, I think by default on Raspbian it's not installed, then you just need to run uh, uh, apt install Python 3 uh, uh, minus pip, so like this apt install Python 3 minus pip with sudo. I already have it installed so nothing will happen but just see, okay. Okay, so everything is ready now, so let's just install uh, Torch and Torch Vision. Again, we are on the Raspberry Pi Zero, and we need this version, okay, so for Linux ARM v6, if you are unsure what version you need, you can also run uh, uname minus A, and it will say what uh, architecture is your system, uh, so you know what version of the package you need. Okay, so now it's simple, we just run pip3, install uh, just for this user we don't want to run it with super user privileges and we want to install torch 1.1 linux arm v6 and we also would like to install torch vision 0 0.3 again arm v6 wheels okay this will take some time for everything to get extracted so I will get back to you when this is done okay so that took uh, around five minutes and now let's uh, validate that everything works so let's fire up the Python interpreter and try importing torch and torch vision to see what will happen so let's do import torch you may get some warnings, but everything should work fine. Okay, no warnings, great. And let's just try something. Let's uh, just create a tensor, random tensor two times three. Okay, so you see there is some warning. It cannot parse uh, some uh, some information, but you see we got our we got our tensor. Okay, let's try importing torch vision. 
okay so everything seems to work now let's let's run uh, as a last step let's run some tests uh, in the repository that I mentioned and uh, what uh, the one we downloaded there is uh, this file called inference.py if you look inside it you'll see that it uh, actually runs a shuffle net convolutional neural network which is used to uh, uh, classify all sorts of objects. Uh, we are using a pre-trained model from TorchVision. Uh, it's a simple script. We just run some transforms on the image and then we uh, run some inference and print out the results. So basically you can give it any uh, image file and it will tell you what it thinks is in that image. There is also uh, an image here, tiger.jpg, uh, which we'll use to test it out. So let's just let me just show you this picture is just a picture of a tiger from the internet and we can run it like this python tree inference.py on tiger.jpg it will run the inference 10 times because uh, I wanted to test out uh, how, many, uh, how much time does it take to actually load the model and how much time does it actually take to do the inference as you can see it's uh, classifying our image correctly it's saying it's a tiger and it takes around you can see around four seconds to do uh, to do this inference now other networks are also available from the torch vision package uh, i tried some of them which are uh, small enough to fit in uh, 512 megabytes of ram which the raspberry pi zero has and I found that this uh, ShuffleNet V2 uh, performs the best. So I'll just let it finish. Okay, so around four seconds for inference and we verified that everything, everything works. Okay, so that's it for this short guide. I hope you find it uh, useful and let me know if you have any issues with the builds that I provide. Bye.